The development of advanced weapon systems in Israel has been a key focus of the country's defense strategy for years. Faced with ongoing threats from various groups and regional powers, Israel has been investing heavily in cutting-edge technologies to bolster its defense capabilities. One of the most recent and revolutionary additions to Israel's defense arsenal is the Iron Beam, a laser weapon system that offers a potentially game-changing solution to countering missile, drone, and rocket attacks. This system, sometimes referred to as the Shield of Light, represents a significant leap forward in air defense technology, and its introduction is timely, given the increasing frequency and sophistication of attacks against Israel. Throughout much of the 21st century, Israel has faced a continuous barrage of rocket attacks, particularly from the Gaza Strip. These attacks, combined with missile threats from neighboring countries like Iran, Hezbollah, and Lebanon, and various other groups, have forced Israel to prioritize the development of robust air defense systems. Israel's Iron Dome, which is perhaps the most well-known missile defense system in the world, has proven highly effective at intercepting short-range rockets and mortars. However, despite its success, the Iron Dome has its limitations, particularly when it comes to cost and the ability to intercept large-scale, simultaneous attacks. On April 13, 2024, Israel was faced with one of its most challenging missile barrages in recent memory. Iran launched more than 300 drones and missiles at Israel, with Hezbollah adding dozens of rockets targeting Israeli Defense Force IDF positions in the Golan Heights. This attack was part of a larger coordinated effort, with Iranian-backed forces in Lebanon, Syria, and Yemen also contributing to the assault. While Israel's multi-layered air defense system, which includes the Iron Dome, David Sling, and Aero Missile Defense Systems, successfully intercepted the majority of these missiles, a few still managed to hit their targets, highlighting the need for further advancements in missile defense. One of the key challenges faced by Israel in this attack was the sheer volume of missiles being launched. The goal of such an attack is to overwhelm the defending nation's air defense system, forcing it to expend its interceptor missiles at a faster rate than they can be replaced. This strategy, sometimes referred to as saturation, aims to deplete a country's stockpile of interceptor missiles, leaving it vulnerable to future attacks. In Israel's case, its air defenses held firm during this particular assault but Israeli defense planners recognized that this type of attack could become more frequent and more difficult to counter as adversaries like Iran continue to enhance their missile capabilities. This is where the Iron Beam laser system enters the picture. Unlike traditional air defense systems, which rely on interceptor missiles to destroy incoming threats, the Iron Beam uses directed energy to neutralize targets. This means that, rather than launching an expensive missile to intercept a relatively low-cost rocket or drone, the Iron Beam can simply shoot a concentrated beam of energy at the target, effectively vaporizing it in midair. The cost per intercept using the Iron Beam is estimated to be as low as $2, compared to the tens of thousands or even millions of dollars required for traditional missile intercepts. This gives the Iron Beam a significant advantage when it comes to cost effectiveness, particularly in situations where Israel is facing large-scale, prolonged attacks. The Iron Beam, developed by Rafael Advanced Defense Systems, has been in development since 2014. It was initially conceived as a complement to the Iron Dome, rather than a replacement. While the Iron Dome is highly effective at intercepting short-range rockets and mortars, it is also expensive, and its effectiveness can be reduced when faced with large-scale coordinated attacks. The Iron Beam is designed to work alongside the Iron Dome, providing an additional layer of defense that can handle the smaller, short-range threats more efficiently, thereby conserving the Iron Dome's interceptor missiles for larger and more dangerous threats. One of the most impressive aspects of the Iron Beam is its speed and accuracy. Lasers, which are essentially focused beams of light, travel at the speed of light, meaning they can intercept targets almost instantaneously. In practical terms, this allows the Iron Beam to destroy a wide variety of threats, from small drones to larger rockets, in a matter of seconds. During testing, the Iron Beam demonstrated an interception time of just four seconds, making it one of the fastest air defense systems in existence. In addition to its speed, the Iron Beam also boasts a near-unlimited magazine. Traditional missile defense systems are limited by the number of interceptors they can fire before needing to reload. This is not the case with the Iron Beam. As long as it has a power source, it can continue to fire without running out of ammunition. This makes it an invaluable tool for defending against prolonged, large-scale attacks where the supply of interceptor missiles could otherwise become a limiting factor. Furthermore, 
the iron beam's accuracy is unparalleled. Unlike missiles, which can occasionally miss their targets or cause unintended damage if they malfunction, lasers always hit precisely where they are aimed. This precision is especially important when intercepting threats over populated areas where the risk of collateral damage is high. The iron beam eliminates this risk by ensuring that interceptions occur exactly where they are needed, without the risk of debris or misfires causing damage on the ground. The introduction of the iron beam comes at a critical time for Israel, as the country faces growing threats from Iran's missile and drone programs, as well as from Iranian-backed groups like Hezbollah, it is clear that traditional air defense systems alone may not be sufficient to protect the country in the long term. Iran, in particular, has been developing increasingly sophisticated missile and drone technology. The Shahed-136 drones, for example, are low-tech but highly effective weapons that have been used in various conflicts, including in Ukraine and Yemen. These drones, which cost less than $30,000 each to produce, pose a significant challenge to Israel's air defenses due to their low cost and ability to be launched in large numbers. Another key benefit of the Iron Beam is its versatility. The system is designed to be highly mobile, allowing it to be deployed quickly to areas where it is most needed. This flexibility is crucial in a conflict where the nature of the threat can change rapidly. The Iron Beam can be mounted on a variety of platforms, including trucks, making it easy to reposition in response to shifting battlefield conditions. Moreover, the Iron Beam has been designed to integrate seamlessly with Israel's existing air defense systems, including the Iron Dome, David Sling, and the Aero Missile Defense Systems. Together, these systems create a multi-layered defense network that can intercept a wide range of threats, from short-range mortars and rockets to long-range ballistic missiles. This integrated approach ensures that Israel is well protected against a wide variety of threats, regardless of their range or speed. One of the most significant challenges that Israel faces in defending itself against missile attacks is the evolving nature of the threats it faces. Over the past few years, Iran has made significant advancements in its missile program, including the development of hypersonic missiles. These missiles, which can travel at speeds of over Mach 5, are particularly difficult to intercept due to their speed and maneuverability. However, the Iron Beam's laser technology, which operates at the speed of light, is ideally suited to countering these types of threats. While traditional interceptor missiles may struggle to keep up with hypersonic missiles, the Iron Beam can destroy them almost instantaneously providing Israel with a critical defense against these next-generation weapons. In addition to its ability to counter hypersonic missiles, the Iron Beam is also highly effective against drones, which have become an increasingly common weapon in modern warfare. Drones are relatively inexpensive to produce, can be launched in large numbers, and are difficult to detect and intercept using traditional air defense systems. However, the Iron Beam's laser technology allows it to target and destroy drones with pinpoint accuracy, making it an ideal solution for countering the growing drone threat. Looking ahead, the development of the Iron Beam represents a significant milestone in the evolution of air defense technology. While laser weapons have long been a staple of science fiction, the Iron Beam marks the first time that such a system has been successfully deployed in a real-world defense scenario. The system's combination of speed, accuracy, cost-effectiveness, and versatility makes it a powerful addition to Israel's defense arsenal and a potential game-changer in the ongoing conflict with Iran and its proxies. The global implications of this technology cannot be overstated. As other countries, including the United States, continue to develop their own laser weapon systems, the lessons learned from Israel's deployment of the Iron Beam could help to shape the future of air defense around the world. In the coming years, we may see more countries adopting laser-based systems as part of their air defense strategies, particularly as missile and drone technology continues to advance. To stay updated on cutting-edge defense technologies and global security developments, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Stay informed and keep learning about the latest innovations shaping the future of defense.